5,000 subscribers. 5,000 subscribers, honestly. We doing this again, 10,000 and 20 and 30 and so on and so forth. The winners of the giveaway will be announced at the end of the video, so stay tuned. We appreciate you guys all for your comments. They were all amazing. So thank you guys again, and we'll see you soon. I hope you enjoy the video. Peace! Ah! Shima, if you have to choose Panathinaikos or Olympiakos, Sirvena Zvezda or Partizan? Hmm. What's up guys, it's Mr. Aha Aha, and today we're doing the Q&A video. I sent the, the post on my Instagram story a couple weeks back, and I got a lot of responses, a lot of questions, a lot of great questions, a lot of... Anyway, um, we're here today to answer as many of them as we can, so let's get into it. Mr. Aha Aha. Hey. Fall into our bacon like a beast. Hey, let me be the captain of our ship. Sail. Okay, my favorite shoes to play with: the Steph Curry Volume Sixes, Number One, and the Harden Volume Sevens. Would you return to the NBA if the situation is right? I would return to the NBA. Describe the feeling in the Stark Arena when you played against Red Star in Belgrade. Very electric, very memorable. It was a very fun environment. I didn't like getting almost hit with the airplane and getting hit with the duct tape though. Thanks. Don't do that next time. When did you start playing basketball? I started playing basketball when I was 13. I used to be a soccer player before that. I wanted to be a soccer player now, but my favorite EuroLeague moment this season. Ooh, damn, I don't know. My favorite EuroLeague moment this season, I would say the Panathinaikos win at home. Five on the clock, Cody. Miller, McIntyre, pulls up, game! Miller, McIntyre knocks it down, and Basconia takes the lead with 0.6 seconds to go. My favorite match that I've ever played, maybe the Panathinaikos match at home? Honestly, maybe. Costello secures the ball out to Miller, McIntyre, down two, Moneke steps back as he threw outside the three-point line, he goes down. Where can I buy your jersey? Honestly, I don't know. We need to figure that out. I know where I can get my jersey, but we need to figure that out. Hi, who would you say is your toughest opponent for MVP? Lots of love from Greece. I would say as of this recording, Mike James deserves to be MVP, but we still got a few games left to go, so we'll see what happens. What do you do on your days off, on your off days? I play a lot of video games. I recover, I rest, I cook, and I like to watch basketball. Toughest game this year. The toughest game this year so far has been the Red Star game, for sure. What is your favorite hairstyle for game? It was in a Champions League game when I was in Manresa. I'm gonna show it right here. What is your goal in EuroLeague as a player? I wanna win a EuroLeague title and I wanna get my jersey retired somewhere. What is your favorite song and artist? Right now, my favorite artist and song is actually the song you hear on the intro. The artist's name is Odumodu Black. My favorite song is called Commend. She be comment. I don't know if I can sing that. Copyright. Who's the best player you played against? The greatest player to ever play the game, LeBron. Do you ever want to cut your hair? No. As long as I play basketball, I'm not cutting it. I know it's really long, but it's my signature, so it's not going anywhere, guys. What was the moment when you realized that you wanted to go pro in basketball? Uh, when I was 15, I was cut from a team that I should have made. And then the coach told me that he didn't think I could think the game at that level at the time. And that's when I started believing that I was gonna do it and I wanted to prove people wrong. Why always fluorescent sneakers? Because I'm a colorful person. I like to stand out and I like bright shoes. You know, they look good, don't they? Name a toughest player to guard. I think everyone says Mike James. It's, it's either Mike James or Shane Larkin. But for me personally, I don't like guarding like shooters that run off, run off of screens. That's probably my biggest weakness right now. Do you have a big problem with your eyes or are you gonna stop wearing glasses soon? You don't like my goggles, man? What's your problem, bro? You're supposed to be my friend. Yes, but I'm blind. I can't even, yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> I want to get LASIK surgery, but also like my goggles are my brand. So if I get surgery, I'll probably just wear non-prescription goggles. Good question. 
Do I have brothers or sister? I have five older brothers. I'm the youngest of six. My parents are still together. Advice to young athletes who want to go pro. Believe in yourself. Nobody will believe in yourself until you do or until it's cool to believe in you. And then work as hard as you feel like you need to and work harder than that. And again, get lucky and stay healthy, actually. What's my favorite movie? Glory Road. Best basketball movie ever, and it's my favorite movie of all time. Every time I watch it, I get emotional. <laughs> what is the most significant jersey that you have at home? Ooh. I would say Dante Exum's jersey, just because he's been one of my best friends since high school, and he made it to the NBA, and he was like someone who I knew personally that inspired me, and I love him. Favorite cartoon? Off the top of my head. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can hear you. If you don't know what that is, then. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? All right. <laughs> what is your favorite football club and why? I was never a club person. I liked the players on the team, but if I had to pick one team, Real Madrid. Sorry to all the Basconia fans out there. Okay, I understand. How difficult was it transitioning from overseas to NBA and then back to overseas? Honestly, it wasn't that difficult. Good question, Capri. Um, I knew that my journey would be what my journey is. And yeah, you know, I, I embrace it. I'm not the victim. That's that's my mentality. I'm not the victim. and I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. What's your career's most memorable moment? I think there's two main ones right now. Going to March Madness with UC Davis. And then the other one is signing to play in the NBA slash playing against LeBron. Who's the best coach who trained you? My favorite coach, one of my assistant coaches at UC Davis, John Ometzger Jones. He's like a father to me. I love him dearly. We still speak a lot to this day and it's just beyond basketball with him. What's the thing you miss the most in Monaco? The people were very, very, very nice. Yo, Chima, can you say something in Nigerian? <sighs> Come on, bro. You're supposed to be educated, but let me educate you. There's no such thing as Nigerian. Nigeria has hundreds of languages. I speak Igbo. So if you ask me, can I say something in Igbo? Then I'll say, of course. And then I'll say, within miri, bring me water. Kedu, how are you? Odima, I'm doing good. Yeah, I got a lot of that, but you know, calma, calma. Create your fantasy five, but not using Basconia's players. Ooh, good one. Based on this season, I will go, ooh. Mike James, Shane Larkin, Hezonia, Shangelia, and Matthias Lasor. What do you miss about Australia? Fucking earth, my, I miss everything. Oh, yeah. I miss everything about Australia. My brothers live there. So I go back to visit every June or July, but I miss everything about Australia. During your university years, what did you study? Gracias for allowing us to get to know you. Thank you for getting to know me and wanting to get to know me. Wanting to get to know me. I should go back to university. Um, I studied communication, but before that I wanted to study psychology. Do you think that being a star player in Europe is better than being one in the NBA? Money aside. Great question. I'm actually filming another video that's gonna come out very soon. It talks about the biggest differences between the NBA and playing in Europe. So stay tuned for that one. It's a good one, I promise you. But um, I think money aside, it depends on who you ask. I'm sure most Americans would rather play in America, but for me, I grew up traveling, so I think I would prefer to play in Europe just because America is just it's too dangerous. It's too divided. It's just, yeah, I don't really like that. The ACB gym that impressed you the most? I would say Manresa, obviously, but I played there. So taking out Manresa or Basconia, I would say, honestly, Breogan. When we played there in Manresa, that was probably the best environment in the ACB. <laughs> Are you aware of your popularity here in Europe? This season, it went crazy. Did you expect it? Yes, I'm aware of it now. It's it's pretty nice. But I think the best part about it is I'm just being myself, which I love. Yeah, I'm glad that people are gravitating towards that. It, you know, it means a lot. Since when you haven't cut your hair because it's really your symbol? Is it from the Norfolk days or later? Shout out to you for knowing the Norfolk days. Not a lot of people know about me back then. I was... But yes, actually, last time I cut this was when I was in Norfolk in 2015. So this is nine years worth of growth, man. 
How do you deal with your feelings after a bad match or practice? I used to struggle with this a lot, like really up until last year. When I say last year, I mean like last summer. I said, I just can't be living like this. You know, basketball is my life, but there's more life than that. And if I believe that I'm a great player, then that's all that matters to me. Um, a lot of people love me or love athletes conditionally. So meaning you play two good games, you're the best player in the world. You play three bad games and then you suck and they don't want anything to do with you. So majority of the people are like, that especially on social media so i remember what's important that's my belief in myself my mental and my family friends and people around me thoughts about playing in lithuania and the atmosphere there i think it's the most underrated place to play in i think it's aesthetic wise it's my favorite gym very new it's very modern the fans make a lot of noise but they're also very respectful yeah i can't wait to go back there actually my videographer will be there so in the future we will have a game day of that environment Stay tuned. What would you do if you weren't a basketball player? I would be a professional football player playing in the Premier League, doing celebrations and making a lot of people happy and upset. What do you think about Unicaja's past and actual season? Do you like their fans? Uh, yes, I actually, I watched a lot of Unicaja because one of my best friends, Jan Kuba, plays there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, it's a place where, um, have I lost there? No, I haven't lost there. And I hope that continues this season, but they're having an unreal season and their fans are great. It's a beautiful place to live in. I think them and Paris are the best teams not in EuroLeague. And yeah, very, 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 very good season. I was at Red Star game. Did you smile at me when I was smiling at you or am I crazy? Uh, you're probably not crazy. I don't remember exactly who you are, but I smile a lot. I'm always like focused on the game, but also paying attention to my surroundings. If there's a break in the game and I see someone smiling at me, then I'll smile back or wave or whatever. That's just how I am. ¿Por qué tienes tanta carisma, Monique? <laughs> yo tengo mucho carisma porque yo soy como eso. <laughs> yo hablo español, pero... <laughs> MJ or LBJ, LeBron, he's the greatest to ever play the game. Simple. How much did it mean to you being back in Manresa after so long? P.S. We love you, Victoria. It meant the world to me. Obviously, you could see it in my face. <laughs> Crying like a little baby. I got clowned for that, but people won't understand how that feels. Um, great memories there. I'll never speak highly enough about Manresa. They know what I mean to them, and I, I clearly felt what I meant to them. So, wait. Did I say that right? You get the point. It's, it's late here. I'm getting tired, guys. Sorry. What would you say to young Chima now? I would say, keep going, kid. You're on the right path. They may not believe in you. They may call you crazy, but it'll pay off in the end. What do you think about your future life when you retire? I think I'm going to be very successful in real estate. I've already started planting my seeds there last year. Shout out to Ohm Securities. My brother, he's been taking care of me. He's the real MVP. But um, I've been planting my seeds to make sure that money is never a problem, especially after I'm done. And I want to have kids. I want to be married to the same person. And um, I want to be able to travel the world when I want to and never worry about anything for my family ever again. Would you rather win the NBA as a bench warmer or the EuroLeague as a team leader? I would rather win the EuroLeague as a team leader. Duh. Shima, if you have to choose Panathinaikos or Olympiakos, Sirvena Zvezda or Partizan? Hmm. Good thing I don't have to choose. Do you have a person editing your YouTube videos? Yes, I do. Roel, Instagram is right here. He's the greatest, honestly. I can't say too much about him. Like, honestly, he's just the greatest. What do you think about Mike James getting close to Spanulis' record? I think he deserves it. I think it'll be a tough record to break for a long time, depending on how long he wants to play. But yeah, it's just very, very, very impressive. You're starting five considering all your mates and ex-mates and include a coach. Ooh. I'm, I already know I'm going to forget some people just because it's just Mike James at point. Um, TJ Shorts, they're going to have to play together at the two. Alpha Diallo at the three. <sighs> John Brown at the four. And Ismail Baco at the five. And then off the bench, we got Paris Lee. We got Joe Thomason. We got Elio Cobo. Damn, we got a lot of people. <sighs> And then the coach is a special shout out to my coach when I was in Camper, Laurent Fuarest, Basconia legend. Can we expect one video about cooking? <laughs> yeah, we got a couple things cooking up. Um, just stay tuned, really. Um, <laughs> do you remember your time in Denon? Well, well, it's a cycle. Well, I remember the not, you know. That was where I was after I got cut in my rookie year. I was dunking everything that season.
My highlight tape was incredible. Yeah, you know, that was where I got my confidence and my swag back, for sure. Shout out to all the Dana Dragons out there. Do you have any other sources of money than basketball? Yes, I touched on this just a little bit before. Real estate is doing well for me right now. And, um, you know, hopefully maybe this YouTube thing will be something too. And I've got some merchandise, link in the bio below. Tap in. If you don't answer one, bro, I'll beat your ass. Send in love. Damn. <laughs> Why you gotta beat my ass for, man? But I'm sending love right back to you, man, all right? What is your favorite thing on the court? Defense, offense, rebounding, assistance, stealing. I think either dunking on someone. One point in 14 minutes, but there's a jam. Or blocking someone's dunk. Those are my favorites. How do you lock in for games? I don't like to put too much pressure on myself. Basketball is something I've done for a long time and something I'm good at. So if I feel like I need to lock in or act differently, then it just makes me feel weird. But I listen to Afro beats most of the time and I just need to take a nap before the game. Why do you do that weird jump celebration? The mid-air split. I'm not sure. I don't know, my friend. Something's wrong with me, okay? What's your biggest goal for future? Um, life goals, I wanna be married, a good father, good husband. I wanna be financially free for the rest of my life. And I wanna be the best basketball player I can be and a good influence for everyone who supports me. That's it. That's it. That's it. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for reaching out through Instagram. That was part one. You guys had a lot of great questions, but if you have some more questions, leave your questions down below. There'll be a part two at some point in the future. We appreciate all your support. It's Mr. Ahaha. Like, subscribe, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You know what it is. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you every single person that commented. You know, there was a lot of great comments, funny comments, inspirational comments, even some silly comments that made me laugh. So thank you guys again. There could only be two winners and the winners are. So congratulations to you both for winning the giveaway. One free signed jersey from yours truly. One free signed pair of shoes. We're going to get in contact to find a way to send it to both of you guys and um. Thank you for the comments. Honestly, it was great. And I can't wait to do this again. We're going to do it even bigger and even better. Ah, ha, 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 ha.